this video we're going to look at the second derivative. Now, d y by dx is often referred to as the first derivative. The second derivative is noted by d2y by dx squared. So it's worth you noting down how that's said, d2y by dx squared. So the first one, dy by dx. Second one, d2y by dx squared. Okay, it is found by differentiating the first derivative. So you get dy, d2y by dx squared by differentiating what you got when you did your dy by dx. So if you start off with y, if you want to get to d2y by dx squared, you first have to get to dy by dx. So in this example, two parts this one, part A, it says, uh, first of all, it says your y is equal to 5x cubed minus 2x squared plus 4. So the first thing you want to do is differentiate d get your to get your dy by dx. So we uh, multiply the, by the power and reduce the power by 1 to so give you 15x squared minus 4x. And the 4 gets differentiated. It's, it's just a constant, so it differentiates and gets 0. Your d2y by dx squared. To get your d2y by dx squared, you differentiate your dy by dx. So if we differentiate this term, you're going to get 30x. If you differentiate this term, you're going to get minus 4. So there we have it. For your first one, dy by dx is 15x squared minus 4x, and your d2y by dx squared is 30x minus 4. Okay, quite a bit more difficult, your part b, so we'll have we look at it uh, now. Okay, a bit of a strange question, this one, how, it's, how they've written it out. You've got uh, 2 over 9 times x to the minus 2, nothing strange about that. You have got a term over here. Your second last term is an x squared term. And then you have a 7x term. It's this second term here, which is a bit odd, to say the least. You've got 1 over x to the minus 3. So that really is the same as 1 over x to the minus 3 is the same as just x to the power of 3. So it's a bit weird. I've never really seen it written that way. I don't know why it would be written that way, but that's the way it is done here. Uh, we'll just go with it. So here, what we want to do first of all is differentiate. So if you differentiate, you're going to have minus 2 times the 2 over 9, which is just be minus 4 over 9. And that's x, and the power reduces it by 1, so that's x to the minus 3. And then the 3 multiplies, so 3 times x, and that now is x squared, plus 2 times x, plus 7. And that's correct for your dy by dx. To get your d2y by dx squared, then, what you want to do is uh, multiply the minus 4 over 3 by minus 4 over 9, I should say, uh, by minus 3, which should give you minus 4 over 3. So I've done a wee, taken, done a wee bit of cancelling out there. Uh, and that's now going to be times, oops, sorry, it's going to be plus 4 over 3. I'll just write a plus in there. I'll tidy it up at the end. And that power reduces by 1. That's minus 4. Then that's going to be minus 6x plus 2. Your 7 gets differentiated. It just becomes 0. And we could write that one. I'll write this another way just to show you can write this in a wee bit nicer. It's not nice having these negative powers. That really is the same as 4 on the top line, 3 in the bottom line, and that x to the 4 is on the bottom line as well. And minus 6x plus 2. Uh, but that's it done. Okay, folks, that's a very short video for you that you're now ready to do exercise 6e.